Welcome into the recap of the Cubs 14 to 1 smashing of the Washington Nationals Sunday afternoon at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. to sweep the three game weekend series. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at Wintrust. They are the exclusive home of Cubs checking. Scan that QR code right on your screen. Click the link or go to Wintrust.com slash Cubs for all the details that you need and how you get your very own Cubs checking account and that super cool Cubs debit card. I say it every day they win. Still alive! Come on, folks. Go all in. Who knows where this thing's going to go? Cubs find a way to sweep another series. They sweep the Pirates. They sweep the Nationals. Now they come home and they play the Pirates for three ball games before they're going to get the Yankees next weekend at Wrigley Field. Today, this was just a bludgeoning. They blew it open late. Let me take you through uh, some of the numbers in this ball game. Cubs added seven, seven in the ninth to take a 7-1 game, which felt good about, and put it completely on ice at 14 to one. Big star of the day. Got to be our Chicagoland Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers player of the game, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, four for six today, drove in a run. He scored two runs. Dansby Swanson is our Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers player of the game. But there's a lot of candidates that we could give this to. How about a three RBI day for Itzhak Paredes with a couple of knocks? How about couple of knocks, couple RBIs for Nico Horner. How about a three-hit day for Pete Crow Armstrong? And the good news from the pitching side, Jordan Wicks up from the minors, reactivated after being out a long time with an oblique injury. He goes five innings, four hits, one run, it's earned. He did not have a K, but he did not walk a man. And then Thompson, Armstrong, and Roberts with Four innings of one hit baseball, no runs. Cubs win big. They win going away. So here's where they're at right now in the standings. Let's take a look at this. And again, are they going to get there? I don't know if they're going to get there, but it's sure a heck of a lot of fun the way they've been playing. A look at the standings right now in the National League wild card race. The Chicago Cubs sit alive. That's all I keep telling you. Arizona, San Diego, and Atlanta have the three spots. The Mets are two games ahead of the Cubs, who are three and a half back pending what Atlanta does tonight. Atlanta loses tonight. The Cubs move to three back, and I know they don't have the wild card tiebreaker, but guess what? Got the whole month of September to go, baby. Let's freaking go. Just keep stringing wins together. Cubs five games over 500 now at 71 and 66. Still alive! There we go. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy this gorgeous weather. Have a great Labor Day. Take that.